Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I do believe that DACA and, and, and our failure of enforcing our immigration laws are, are, are the cause of this. Uh, the number of unaccompanied uh, uh, children has grown since 2012. Last year it was a record of 5,000. Now we have 65,000. But I, I don't blame just the President for not enforcing our immigration laws. I know many do. It's not just that. Uh, it's even members of Congress. Congress has to share in the blame as well. Any member of Congress that starts talking about a pathway to amnesty, and that's what it is, lays out the welcome mat for people around the world that want to come into the United States illegally, why our borders are not secured. It's irresponsible to talk about what we'll do before we can stop the flow into the country. This, this is not, not a surprise what, it, what has happened. And it, it's everyone. We need to secure our borders and make sure people cannot get into the country illegally. We need to make sure people can't overstay their visas. But I have two, two questions. The first one, if I could get a quick answer, because I want to get to the second one, is Secretary Johnson. My, my constituents are frequently on flood alert. We prepare for emergencies, uh, invest in mitigation. Uh, we're still dealing with the aftermaths of Sandy and Irene and Lee. And my understanding is that the President's March budget uh, request did not ask for additional funding uh, to pay for this crisis at the border. Now, we know that we knew about it as far back as January. Uh, here's my question. How, how can you guarantee me and my constituents that the money to address the crisis at the border won't come from the same pots that help Pennsylvanians back home deal with floods? By putting FEMA in charge, you've kind of singled, signaled a disaster declaration is coming, and I'm concerned that our flood disaster funding will be constantly drained by the situation. If you could quickly answer that. Well, I, I can assure you, Congressman, um, that if your constituents or anybody else faces a major disaster, um, we, will, we will support a response. But, it but is it there. coming out of those same pots of money? Are we draining the money that will be used for flood disasters by using FEMA? Is no. it coming out of that same pot? FEMA's coordinated role uh, doesn't mean that FEMA is undertaking to support all these agencies. All these agencies are paying for this. Yeah, either I'm just worried about where the money is coming from, and, and, and does that mean that that pot gets drained a little more? If we could get it quickly, yeah. I want to Congressman, get the funds that are being used for this were already funds that were expended under current authority to deal with these issues. Uh, funding that's being directed is done through interagency agreements. Money is not coming out of the DRF to pay for those functions, which are primarily responsible and funded by Congress through other appropriations. Okay. If I, if I could go back to the, to the you know, if, if it's not our lack of enforcing immigration laws, then, then why don't they stop somewhere in Mexico? Why, why come all the way to the United States? Why put these children a thousand miles uh, and, and risk their lives to get to the United States? There's nowhere in Mexico that is better than, than Honduras or Guatemala. I, I don't buy that, and I don't think the American people do either. The uh, Department of Homeland Security was created to uh, stop thing, bad things from happening before they happen. Uh, here's a copy of, of the ad that DHS put out in January 29th. In fact, we, we wanted an answer from the contractors by February 19th. And it said there will be approximately 65,000 children in total. My, my question is, in, how, who knew that there was going to be 65,000? The, the largest amount that ever came was 5,000. Somewhere we pull out this number of 65,000 and it happens to be correct. Why was the administration surprised? Why are we acting surprised now if, if in, these, in January we expected this to happen? And why aren't, weren't we prepared? If, if we expected 65,000, why didn't we do anything to stop this in advance? You talked in your testimony that the President talked to the President of Mexico last week and Vice President Biden just recently. Why then, if, if back in January 29th, we anticipated this happening? Well, first of all, I don't know where that estimate comes from. Uh, given it's, the numbers. It's in our own, it's in DHS's ad. I don't know where the estimate comes from. I don't know who created the 65,000 estimate. In all likelihood, we'll probably exceed that in the rate we're going. Uh, we've known this has been a problem since I took office six months ago. I've been hearing about this issue going back to my confirmation hearing. And so, and we've known we've had a problem in the Rio Grande Valley sector, which is why in April I asked my staff to create a campaign plan for the Rio Grande Valley sector, in particular for the southwest border, to bring to bear all the resources of DHS 
on this issue. We've known we've had an issue with third country nationals, children and adults. I issued the campaign plan in early May. Uh, the numbers very clearly have spiked more recently in April, May, which has required us to bring to bear the resources of the entire Federal Government. But, but we shouldn't be surprised because we, we saw it coming as far back as January. Somebody did in DHS. I'd like to know who it is if you could find out. And I'm get not that disagreeing with you. We've known this was an issue since I took office, sir. But it went from 5,000 to 65,000. Something happened. When the largest amount that ever came of unaccompanied children was 5,000, which was last year, something happened that 65,000 showed up and somebody knew about it. And, and surprise? I think it was more like 38,000 last year. Well, from 5,000 to 38 to 65. So, so, so since DACA, we've gone from 5,000 to 38 to 65. Well, sir, you want to you wanna somehow uh, put it on the doorstep of DACA. I keep saying that. No, no, DACA no. I, I, I'm blaming Congress. As, I'm blaming Congress ago. as well, our, and our lack of immigration enforcement. There's nothing wrong with our immigration laws. We just don't enforce them. We've released 36,000 criminal aliens back onto the streets. 160 of, of them committed murder. If we could release people who've committed murder, I'm sure uh, has something to do with it. Thank you, General.